Hello students my name is Alok Sembal and today I am going to discuss about ion exchange chromatography procedure As we discussed earlier ion exchange chromatography is a process that allows the separation of ions and polar molecules based on their affinity to ion exchangers The principle of separation in ion exchange chromatography is by reversible exchange of ions between the target ions present in the sample solution to the ions present on ion exchangers two types of ion exchangers are used in ion exchange chromatography cationic and anionic exchangers so ion exchange separations are carried out mainly in columns packed with an ion exchanger Commercially available ion exchangers are made up of styrene and divinyl benzene. Diethyl amino ethyl cellulose is an anionic exchanger and carboxymethyl cellulose is a cationic exchanger. Now selection of exchanger is dependent on the charge of the sample particles to be separated. So if we have to separate anions then we will use anionic exchanger and in case of cations we will use cationic exchanger this diagram represents complete ion exchange process ion exchange chromatography is performed in five main steps first step is initial stage second one adsorption of target third starting of elution fourth end of elution and fifth regeneration here you can see a column filled with ion exchange resin particles in yellow are counter ions in the initial buffer blue and red particles represent different ions in the sample and finally green particles are ions ingredient in the first step column is filled with ion exchanger then the sample is poured in the column followed by the buffer the tris buffer pyridine buffer acetate buffer citrate and phosphate buffers are the most commonly used buffers As we discussed earlier buffer pH and ionic strength are crucial for all forms of ion exchange chromatography it is best to readjust buffer pH after adjusting salt concentration and ensure that buffer counter ions are compatible an ionic exchange chromatography should be carried out with cationic buffers cationic exchange chromatography should be carried out with anionic buffers For positively charged anion exchange resins, tris buffers are an excellent choice. The pK, which is dissociation constant of the buffer, should be as near as possible to the pH at which the system is buffered. This results in higher buffer capacity, which can withstand the local change of pH in the column easily. In the second step target ions are adsorbed on the surface of ion exchanger Third step is the starting of elution and fourth is end of elution In this the particles which have high affinity for ion exchanger will come down the column along with buffers The next step is regeneration step. In this by using corresponding buffer tightly bonded particles are separated. Then these particles are analyzed spectroscopically. Here you can see the summary of complete procedure.
थैंक यू